Hello and welcome. Uh, again, we are working on Google 2018 Capture the Flags, the CTF. And um, again, I came across this because I subscribed to both Live Overflow and John uh, Hammond. And I'll be sure to check out their channels. Uh, and uh, as you can see, we're going to be going over this uh, uh, Mora, or however you say that, um, uh, CTF. And, and I did watch John Hammond's video before getting to this uh, project. So I actually learned something, and which is the biggest thing for this project from him, which is awesome and it's helpful. Uh, it's just helpful in general. You know, that's one of the great things about using doing these capture flags. It's not just doing them, but what you learn from doing them. So although I already knew what he did, I, uh, I'm going to do a video on it. Be sure to check out his video. And uh, I also wrote a script that uh, fully automates it uh, because I thought that was a great idea. That's what John here was doing. He's writing scripts to automate stuff. And uh, I go about things a little different with my scripts. Um, but you can go to my GitHub, or sorry, switch to GitLab, gitlab.com forward slash mailx1000 forward slash capital CTF. Download that project. All the scripts are there. Let's go ahead and move into, I'm in the, the folder for this uh, capture the flag. Um, and again, all these, there's a zip file you download. You unzip it. There's something in it. Well, not all of them. But anyone that has an attachment, you download the zip file. And actually, this one doesn't have a zip file. Now that I'm saying that, um, if I just run the script in here, because right now the, there's only one file in this folder, and if I run that, it's going to give me the flag. Boom, right there. Um, so let's look at what I did in this script. Very, very short, very, very simple. Um, big thing here is we're using Netcat, although you could probably use Telnet as well. And we're connecting to this server at this port. That, that's what they tell us to do right here, you know. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I have the uh, W1 there to time it out. Otherwise, the script just kind of hangs until you get disconnected. This will automatically disconnect you after one second, and it takes less time uh, for us to grab the information than that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to remove the one second disconnect. So we're using Netcat. Uh, which you can install with apt, aptitude, apt-get, install, nc, or netcat, and or if you have busybox built in, it's probably, or a, stream, a stripped down version is in there, or again, any telnet type program or sock program uh, should work. Anyway, go here, and what it does is <clears throat> it gives you the man page for uh, a program called, <coughs> excuse me, SoCat which is actually for connecting computers and serial ports and stuff like that. And actually, uh, I'm glad I came across this because uh, I've seen that before, but I never really paid attention to it. And it actually seems like something I might be interested in learning more about. Uh, so what do you do from here? I mean, um, you can hit H, you know, and it brings up help here uh, for the man pages. Um, and I can hit Q to get out of that. Uh, and... That's about it. If I, if I try to exit out of this, I just get disconnected. So I can't get to a shell on this machine that way. Again, if you uh, hit H for help, I actually haven't looked through this, but I'm just you know, searching patterns. I'm betting what we need to do is actually probably in the help file here. I don't know. Uh, but what I learned from John is when you're in a man page like this, you can hit exclamation mark and you can run shell commands. So you can see, I just hit exclamation mark ls and it just listed out the root directory of the server we're connected to, which is awesome. Uh, so there, now we can start looking through uh, the, the commands. So let, let, let me actually manually go through this a little bit. Actually, right now, can't really remember where the flag is. So that'd be a good chance for me to play around here. Um, any files there? Again, we're looking for flags. So we check there. Next, we'll probably want to uh, check the um, next thing I probably do in real life is exclamation mark sh to see if I can get a shell, but it's not going to let me do that. Uh, or, or bash. Yeah, no, so it's not going to let us do that. And actually, there's a few of these uh, capture flags where I try to get a shell like that, and it never works. But on a, uh, they might be restricting that. In real life, you might be able to do something like that. Uh, but let's go, and we will list the home directory. We can see there's a home user called uh, Moar, uh, if that's how you say that. 
So let's go ahead and list out. The thing is, you can't tab complete in this, so you just have to go step by step, list that out. And right there, you can see in their home directory, there's one file. Uh, it's a, uh, a, a disable the DMZ. Oh, if you get disconnected after a little while. Uh, but let's go ahead and cat out that shell script and, oh, okay, whoops, exclamation mark, uh, cat, home, our, and our script here, and right there, you know, a little bit of information, and there is our flag. So, let's go ahead and hit Q to get out of that. We have our flag. Let's go back into my script here. So all my script is doing is saying to echo exclamation mark cat and this, and we're piping that into netcat at that port, and we'll disconnect after one second, but we're piping any text that, that outputs into awk. Again, we're searching for CTF, and we're printing the second column in this case. Uh, and then I'm grepping for awk because I think it gave me more than one line that says CTF. So I was grepping for it a second time after I split the column off. Um, so there you go. Again, I can um, run that and it gives me that code. Pretty straightforward. The, the lag there, that one second, is it actually doesn't output the text until we're disconnected from the server. So that's why I have that wait one second, then disconnect. Uh, I could probably make that a shorter number if Netcat takes less than one second, but why at this point, you know? Uh, so again, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. There you can search through all my videos. You can learn more about me see where my software is. Uh, you can also support me. Patreon.com forward slash Melix1000, also in the description of this video. Or if you can't do Patreon, uh, I have a PayPal link here. You can do one-time payments, recurrent payments. Contact me through our, uh, IRC, or if you're a Patreon, you can contact me through Patreon. Um, and again, shout-outs to Live Overflow, John Hammond, because uh, again, I, I don't know if I would have figured this one out on my own because uh, I didn't know about the exclamation mark in the man program there and that was the key to this one really after that just snooping around uh, and that's it I do thank you for watching please again visit films.chris.com that's Chris the K link in the description search my videos there like share subscribe comment below if you like these videos uh, again I'm a little late to the game on getting these done but I hope I'm going into more detail uh, and and in explaining things. And um, I hope that you have a great day.